everyone's just trying to jump in on the coattails of this whole Mahomes, you know, oh man, like he's not professional the way he talked to Josh Allen, the way he blamed on the refs after the game. It's hypocrisy based on the way, you know, the, the, the Super Bowl ended, you know, they shouldn't call that flag within the last 10 minutes. And then you have a Denver uh, Post write an article saying that they broke Mahomes and mm-hmm. the, the Chiefs offense. So, like, my question A is, do you what do you think of the criticism that Mahomes kind of received this week? Is it fair or is it too harsh? And also with that, you kind of alluded to it. Do you think we're going to kind of take this, what happened this week, and kind of like – internalize that and like say like look the whole world's against us now and like you kind of said jd you kind of i like the wcw reference we kind of are the heels now we've been we've been a team that people have been start been yeah. starting to hate for the last few years yeah but it's almost like hulkamania walked in that ring put the put the leg drop on macho man and then pointed at kevin nash and scott hall and the nwo came i kind of feel like we may embrace this bad guy uh look this week and kind of put a put a put a ass kicking on new england and kind of like internalize all the stuff that we've been hearing this week. What do you, what do you think about that? Well, uh, you know, to, to me, I, hey, man, let us use it as fuel. But to be honest with you, that, that's exactly what I was kind of addressing, is us being above all of it. Be above all of it, right? We know we got a job to do. Let's go ahead and do it. So, yeah, they're going to say that Patrick Mahomes is a bad guy now. Oh, he had a sorts. That's one time you've seen Patrick Mahomes act that way, okay? Now, if any of us are defined by our worst moment or a bad moment, then guess what? None of us will be deemed good or anything like that. None of us, okay? So if we all want to be defined on maybe something, the frustration or some anger issues we had at one point in the time that we lashed out and say, this is who this guy is, that's completely unfair. That's completely unfair. Patrick Mahomes has been nothing but a consummate pro the entire time. He has carried himself with dignity and respect and honor throughout the entire time he's been through the NFL. Nobody can dispute that. Not one person. So if you want to be that guy, that joker that comes in and say, well, Patrick Mahomes, oh, we broke Patrick Mahomes, right? That's just that's just talk. It's silly talk, okay? It's the same thing like when I hear people out here who's criticizing guys for whatever reason. It's silly talk to me. Forget that. I, ain't nobody worried about that. Like I said before, we got to be above all those things. And guess what? If Patrick want to take that and fuel it and say, okay, fine, you want to call me the bad guy? Whatever. You could call me at all you want to. I tell you what you're gonna call me. You're gonna call me Super Bowl champ MVP. That's what you're gonna do when you're gonna put on my name. How about you do that? Okay. And we do it, repeat guys doing those things. So I, that's what that's what guys that are great do. They get they 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 let those things go, okay? And you focus up because those things that's what's important, okay? All that other noise and stuff out here, it's not gonna get it done. It's it, Broncos didn't break Patch Mahomes. That's crazy. It's, it's funny. It's funny to say it. Yeah. It's, you know, that's, that's the, the smack everybody talks. Oh, we don't broke Patrick Mahomes. All right, fine. Whatever. We ain't worried about what somebody says. You know, doesn't matter. Uh, all that matters is what's going on in that room. That's it. In that Chiefs locker room, that's all that matters. The only one they can rely on at this moment is them. Okay. And our job as fans, as the ones that love the Chief, is to continue to support them in their toughest time through this adversity, through all those different things. I don't have to sit there and run my mouth on Twitter, you know, trying to, you know, argue with people if, you know, oh, well, they call this and all of that, or, you know, Patrick, I don't have to go through all of those things, right? All I have to come in and show chief concerns. I support the Chiefs. I think these jokes are going to come in and win the Super Bowl. That's what I believe, pure and simple. And I'm going to stay riding with them the entire time. I don't care if they're eight and five. I don't give a, I don't give a damn. I'm with them. I'm with them. Fine. Hey, guess what? We're still the best team in football, period. That's what I believe. And I'll tell you what, nobody wants to see us. Marcus, nobody wants to see us. They don't. They won't see that smoke. They can talk all that noise until, guess what? You see us on the schedule. When you see Chiefs came in, come into that building, it's a whole different It's a whole different story then. A whole different story. So that's how I feel about it, man. You know, I, I just, you know, just being in the locker room, you just you, you don't worry about the noise because there's just plenty of it out there. And if you start playing into it and getting it to you and all that stuff, that's when you lost. That's where you lost. Yeah, and, and that's one thing. Like I will say, like in years past, you know, we we've kind of like worn this whole like not like this the, the whole bulletin board material. Which you hear at, last year after we won it, you heard during like the press conferences and stuff. 
they were kind of bringing up well, everyone doubted us, you know, talking about like certain shows, like first take Colin coward, different shows. People are just doubting us. And these are just like hot take shows. Like, Oh man, chiefs aren't going to win this year. They're not Tyree kill. And obviously we saw what happened, but like right this week, it seemed almost like everyone was kind of gunning for us in a more personal way than we had before, you know, talking about the integrity of Patrick Mahomes, questioning his integrity, uh, but the way he, the way he talked to uh, Josh Allen midfield, the way he talked about the refs having to be held back from the refs. And one thing, and I tweeted from our account, um, and it's something that, yeah, Tom Brady did get a lot of hate from people, but it seems like over the last few years as an elder statesman, Tom, when he played till he was 50, everyone forgot about stuff that he did when he played. Everyone forgot about him chasing down that refs after that, at the Panthers game and yelling at the refs as the ref is going to the tunnel. But then Mahomes is yelling at the refs. You know, he's a young guy still. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's yelling at the refs, and he all of a sudden gets – called out for being this awful guy. And, but like when Brady did it, it was like, oh man, he's fiery. Like, you know, he's a passionate guy. Mahomes does it. Oh man, look at that. He needs to be suspended. He needs to do something about that. It's like, whoa, what's what's going on here? It's ridiculous. I mean, look, it, 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 people have their opinion about either of them. To me, I think both of them were wrong. I think when, when Brady did it, I think it was wrong. I think when Pat did it, I think it was wrong. I understand the passion of it. I get guys are caught up in the moment, but we got to call wrong is wrong, right? And Patrick, he he apologized because he understood it wasn't wrong. You know, that's not him. You know, that was him in the moment. That was that was a moment that he he had. But he realizes that this is more than just football. Okay, he is without a doubt. He's a guy in the community. He is a role model, and he understands. Like, look, if I'm doing this, kids are watching these things that's going on. Okay, he has a different responsibility, and that's what I like about Pat. That's character right there. That's what a guy that actually is a, who, who is the leader, that's what he does. Pat came in and he apologized for that, for his actions. And well done for him. My hat goes off to a guy like that. Do like that, I can respect all day long because he's truthful about it. That's why I love Pat so much. So I don't know, Brady, if he came out and did those things, I have no idea. Doesn't even matter. You know, he's out of the game right now. So they can pull up all type of shots and videos of, of, of him doing it well. Doesn't matter. My thing is, when Pat came in, he apologized for it. Hey, guess what, man? That's a good man right there to me. That's a good man right there for me. And that's why it makes it much easier for anybody to get behind a guy like Patrick Mahomes. You can know he's not a he's not a guy that, you know, who's sitting over here is going to waffle on, on, on who he is or his character, right? You don't have to sit there, well, you know, they made me upset and it was a bad call on it. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. You don't have to defend yourself. Your character will speak volumes for you. Yeah. That in itself. Spoke volumes. All right. Tell you what, though, I would love if we did embrace the bad guy. Look, I mean, Mahomes coming out of black and white MWO. <laughs> I got you. Hey, look, 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 hey, there's 53 guys on the team. They, the other guys can do it. Let Chris Jones and guys do it, right? Yeah. I, I love Travis Kelsey because Kelsey's going to push it on dudes. That's oh, yeah. what I love. I think Kelsey's embracing that role, and he should. And he should. So I'm with that. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.